Hello, welcome to Zany Kids Storytime. I hope you're all ready for today's story. Are you sitting comfortably? I hope so. Today's story is Too Much Stuff by Emily Gravitt. Let's begin. Too Much Stuff. In a tree that was taller than all of the rest, Meg and Ash were busy building a nest. They built it from mud and from grass and from sticks and they dreamed that one day they would fill it with chicks. Then lastly, to keep it all cosy and clean, they lined the whole thing with an old magazine. It wasn't that long before they had laid four perfect eggs in the nest that they'd made. But looking around, they worried their nest, needed more stuff to make it the best. And so, while one of them stayed behind, the other flew off to go and find the extra things that they agreed their chicks were really going to need. At first they brought back little stuff, two ornamental cuckoo clocks, four tiny socks and a pack of plastic pegs in shades of blue to match their eggs. But still it didn't seem enough. And so, they got some bigger stuff. A Ted abandoned by a bin. The bin and everything within. Better, they said, but not quite enough. Our perfect eggs deserve more stuff. Meg got some lights for when it's got dark. Ash got a pram from a nearby park. They nabbed a bucket and a mop, a brush, a broom, they could not stop. They wondered if each chick would like to one day learn to ride a bike. And even though it took a while, the bikes got added to the pile. After that, they'd need a car, which may have been a step too far, as when they went and brought one back, from the nest they heard a crack. Oh dear. Down fell the bikes, one, two, three, four, quickly followed by much more. The car came crashing down on top, followed by the brush and mop. The shiny bucket and the lights came clattering down from the heights. The fancy pram that they'd brought back hit the ground with, a, with quite a smack. Falling fast, the poor lost Ted landed hard upon his head. On top of him bumped the bin, its contents now outside, not in. The clocks came falling mid-cuckoo, just as they were striking too. And sailing down beside the clocks came the pairs of baby socks. Finally, the plastic pegs came falling down upon their eggs. Where are our eggs? The magpie stopped and looked around at all the things strewn on the ground and cried. It didn't seem enough, but look at all this useless stuff. They lifted off the plastic pegs, but still they couldn't find their eggs. And so the whole wood set about, trying to dig their poor nest out. The lights got pegged up in a tree so all the animals could see. The bikes got taken back and left at the scene of their theft. The Ted was given by the bugs to someone who would give him hugs. The cuckoo clocks made quite superb home for all the smaller birds. And the socks made very nice, cosy beds for baby mice. The squirrels took the pram apart and used the bits to make a cart. The car became a fine fox den, big enough to hold all ten. And all the rubbish from the bin was swept back up and put back in. At last the magpies reached their nest, which was not looking at its best. It's just a heap of shell and sticks, but under that, four perfect chicks. One, two, three, four. And here they are, being mischievous.
I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.